Welcome back everybody. This is Dave of Spider Monkey 2A and we're back out at the range and today you guys know I love my Grendels. I'm actually kind of uh, thinking of myself as kind of the Grendel guy lately because it seems like uh, the majority of the channels will do one or two videos with their Grendels and then shove them aside. Me, I absolutely love it. We're going to get them out and we're going to keep on testing them. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. All right guys, so we got one of my absolute favorites in my collection right now, is my Ruger American Predator 6.5 Grendel. I absolutely love this setup. I do believe it's a 22 inch barrel on it. it takes AR mags. Um, with that, these uh, blue follower mags, I'm not sure the company, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Duramag. Yeah, anyway, these seem to work best for me personally um, out of this Grendel. My Alexander Arms AR mags don't seem to work as well. Uh, they don't sit up high enough and then it just skims over top of the round. But we put a different scope on it today. We've actually had this scope on here before when we've done group tests, I believe. This is our Bushnell Nitro first focal plane scope. I think it's a four by 12, four to 12, sorry. Um, and it just seems to do pretty well for us. We've uh, kind of hopped that around from Grendel to Creedmoor, or no, I haven't had that on my Creedmoor, sorry. But from Grendel to 223, whatever we needed it on, it worked pretty well. Today, guys, we're gonna be testing out this 120 grain, but I kept calling it boat tail nozzler. It is a boat tail style round. Sorry, I gotta cover up the price here. But these are actually ballistic tip nozzler bullets. And nozzlers are the ones who kind of coined the ballistic tip round, uh, if I recall. So ballistic tips, guys, um, it's got your plastic tip, rubber, whatever you wanna call it, hardened rubber maybe. I think it's hardened plastic. But what that's designed to do is help it fly straighter and when it contacts, makes contact with that solid surface, it is going to push in on that round and help it mushroom out. But it's also, yeah, it's gonna help it fly a little bit better, fly a little straighter. We've shot these before a lot. We've grouped these out of this Grendel. Um, I think when we just did uh, group tests on a bunch of different ammos. But I wanted to bring this out, give it its dues by itself, test it out a little bit. So we got our target down at 100 yards, we're going to take a few shots at it and see how it groups. Okay, guys, 100 yards. We are going to actually do a five-shot group today because I'm curious about this Nosler. 120 grain. Um, it shot well before. We've had this set up, done like this before. Ruger American Predator 6.5 Grendel. And I got my Bushnell Nitro first focal plane scope on there. Looks like it's a 4 to 12. Um, I like it. It's not top of the line by any means as far as optics, but it'll do the job for what we want it to do here. So we're gonna take five shots at 100 yards. We got our camera down there as well. See how we group. I'm excited to see what happens. All right, uh, hopefully I can get some good trigger squeezes here. We got the bipod, sandbag. We're not gonna do the lead sled today. Uh, I probably should, but we're just gonna be aiming dead center See how we do. Yeah, that felt like a good squeeze. Felt good as well. coming to our face so it shouldn't affect us at all especially at 100 yards all right last shot Right, guys I'm pretty confident with all those shots good trigger squeezes let's go down and take a look
Okay guys, coming up to the target. I am no marksman by any means whatsoever, but I'm actually pretty impressed with the group that I laid down on that one. Uh, close up camera would have showed you as we went, but we got five shots here guys. In total, I would say that is right about maybe a little more than an inch group, but we definitely had three touching there. We got a three leaf clover right there. And just that one down here, if I hadn't had that, we would have had four shots within half inch there and i'm pretty happy with that um that's the best i've actually ever gotten this nozzler to group out of that rifle in particular um we have had issues with that coming out of my ar platform we'll get into that later but that is that's top notch there i might try to use this load if i decide to take out my grendel at all for whitetail hunting this year this will probably be the definitely the round that i use it is a ballistic tip i think it would be fine um, but I definitely don't want to reach out too far on it. I'm pretty happy with that group, guys. All right, guys, now that we're dialed in, I kind of got you angled down there. We got a uh, T-post with a few pieces of hanging steel right at about 175 yards, and then we got our long-range targets at right about 290 yards. I got three shots loaded up. I'm going to see if I can hit these things. Um, with this first focal plane scope and the way it's set up, I am so sorry about the breeze. Hopefully that's not going to affect us either. It's coming at us. So hopefully it won't uh, really affect our long range accuracy here. But hopefully I got this dialed in and I know where to hold, <coughs> hopefully, with this scope. All right, we're gonna start at the 175 yard. All right, we nailed that one. Let's move it. Actually, we got the, our uh, fence post steel down there too. I'm gonna see if I can hit one of those. Oh, I missed that one. It actually looked like I went high. All right, we're gonna go for the hanging steel now. Hopefully I make good squeeze. All right, so I missed that fence post one, which is weird because about the same size target as our hanging ones. But I uh, adjusted, settled down a little bit. We hit 175 and then we hit 290. No problem with this nozzler. Ooh, getting breezy, sorry guys. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. Uh, we actually got our GoPro back up and going. It was on the fritz for a little bit there, giving me problems, but thank goodness because I don't like recording off my phone. Oh my, I should have the cover on there so you guys can hear me. But what'd you think of that, guys? Um, this 120 grain ballistic tip nozzler, I believe that that is a very, very good round. Um, we did have some issues with it out of my AR platform when I was just trying to eject bullets. It was actually sitting in there a little too tight and it was actually pulling the round out. Now, upon further investigation on that, we cleaned that AR top to bottom spotless. We put in the best cleaners that we had, got every piece of gunk out of there tried it again and it still did it um the first time it did it to me i actually was out here testing i was gonna do a group test out of my ar and i wanted to go down range so i wanted to jack that bullet out and powder just fell out everywhere it actually left this round up in the barrel but it wasn't a squib it wasn't a squib it didn't i didn't fire and it get stuck up in there it just got pulled out because it was lodged up in there but yeah we cleaned it out i took all the dimensions overall links diameters and compared them to all of our other rounds because I took all my other factory ammo, Hornady Black, Hornady ELD Match, uh, same thing, sorry, uh, the SSTs, 129, 123 grain Wolf ammo, uh, some Federal, I put everything through that AR and it all ejected fine, didn't have that issue, but they were all the same diameter and all the same lengths or pretty close. So I couldn't explain that one, but these work just fine out of our Ruger American. They eject fine, no problems whatsoever. So that's why I got it back out here. Definitely not gonna fire these out of that AR until I figure out what that problem is. But I have a good little supply of this 120 grain uh, ballistic tip nozzler. So I think it's gonna work just fine out of our Ruger American. 
All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Davis Spider Monkey 2A. Make sure if you're subscribed, you hit that bell for notifications. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you do. Give us a like, maybe share this video. And as always, thanks for stopping by.